Again, this was just a quick update for some of you already know this information because I've done it and I've said it multiple times. However, the last time I really addressed this in a video for itself was like cats and dogs when everything was broken. What's up, boo? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. And if you're new to my channel, because I am refreshing a video that I've done multiple times and mentioned about doing multiple times, either on Twitter, Instagram, my Discord, my YouTube channel. And that is how to prepare your mods folder for an update slash patch for The Sims 4. Now, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for your girl. We are so close to 100k, and if it's not your first time here, you can help out by getting us there even quicker so don't forget to do that and like this video to let me know to keep doing videos like this in the future let's go ahead and get into it because the first thing i want to tell you guys for those of you who are going to comment down below that you've never had an issue keeping your mods folder in your game when you update i don't care because some of us aren't that lucky including myself so that's why i always tell people whenever there's a batch a batch a patch an update for the sims 4 or you know what just in general any mod that you like any game that you mod take out your mods folder before that update okay do that because i've had it happen to me especially those who are in my dms and in my discord and i in my discord for help please go ahead and do so like right now all right so to move your mods folder out your game is pretty damn simple if you're not organizing your mods folder i highly doubt you highly suggest you do that um i'll leave a link to the video how i organize my mods folder because it's you know it's pretty extensive but once you do it you will love yourself more and i explain more in the video on why just because it's easier to detect broken mods with it all right so here's my mods folder right here all i will really need to do is just make a whole new folder on my desktop or put it on an external hard drive or even if you have multiple hard drives on your computer go ahead and put it there so just create a new folder you'll be like mods two or three whatever you want to call it to let yourself know this is your mods folder um i guess since i have i don't i think i i did have multiple folders mods too as you see it's blank and all i will go ahead and do is just copy and paste all of this yes you can even go ahead and get the resource config file because every time your game loads up if that file is not in there it will just generate a new one it's just gonna give you a new one so you don't have to worry about that and then you just copy and paste everything over to that new folder and and you'll just let it wait. I'm not gonna do it right now because it's like a 20 something gigs and we don't got time to be waiting for 20 something gigs to go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna put it back and then if you're on Windows 10 like I am, it actually copies it over. It doesn't like move it over and I hate that. Windows 8 or 7 did that. Windows 7 like moved it over and then it was no longer in there. And then you'll all gotta do is just delete. I hope that makes sense without me having to do it just because again, it's too much and I, and I don't want to move my mods with it right now um because i plan on playing the sims on stream so all you gotta do is just pick them up drag them over to your new folder and if you're on windows 10 delete the old shit in your sims 4 mods folder and then you're good to go and all you gotta do is just wait and wait and update your game and then if mods are broken wait some more or if you know some mods are okay, move them back into your mods folder. That's all you gotta do. That's how you move your mods folder. That's how you that's how you uninstall mods for the Sims 4. It's really that simple. And of course, again, don't forget to always delete your local thumb cache because it's a cache, okay? So anytime you move or you delete or you add mods, anytime, delete that. And if you guys want to learn how to fix your last section errors, there's also a video down below as well. But please, yeah, go and take out your mods folder before it even hits. However, patches usually come within 10 a.m. Pacific time. They're always like mornings Pacific, if you guys didn't know that. Do is go ahead and go through your Origin account and take off automatic updates. Because sometimes you may, like, it may sneak up on you when one's released. Or you may just forget. Like, so we all, like, for those of us who take, like, weeks off because we get busy in our own lives, we forget about The Sims and we forget there's a patch and then we blow up the game. It's like, oh, why is this doing this? And you, then you forget that your mods folder is also in there. Hey guys, so we are here on my desktop and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to turn off automatic updates for Origin. Um, So we're gonna go to, you know, load up Origin real quick. And you go to Origin, Application Settings, and then you'll go down to Application, and then it's gonna tell you automatic game updates, automatic, automatically update Origin, or participate in Origin Client Beta, 
All of these should be turned off unless you really want to be in the client beta. I don't know too much about that, but that's just like if you want to. But this is the one you need to be worried about. The automatic game updates, especially for The Sims 4. Origin will automatically download and install games updates for you. If you mod your game, this is a big no-no. You should never have this turned on. As you can see, mine is turned off. So if it's green, it means it's on. If it's gray, it means it's off. Um, and that way, whenever you download, whenever you pop up Origin, if there's like an update you forgot about, you're able to just go ahead, take a mod folder real quick, and then tell The Sims 4 to go ahead and update itself without your mods in your game. So that's how you do it. It's quick and it's simple. It's easy a peasy. Lemon squeezy. Go ahead and turn off automatic updates. So that's two tips right now. Take out your mods folder for all updates and make sure you go ahead and turn off automatic updates for The Sims 4. All right, the third thing is making sure you keep mods updated. Whenever there's a patch or an update, not saying that mods will break with this upcoming patch because we don't know. Um, but you never want, you always want to decide a caution, especially if there's any bug fixes that are, you know, going to be in a patch. Because that means coding has usually changed. And you guys don't know, mods use the coding from the EA. They just like warp it and make it their own and they adjust it. So they actually do need that base code to stay the way it is in order for your mods to work. And when they change it, that means the mods don't work. If that's like a crash course in modding, I hope that makes sense. Let me know comes below. Does that make sense? Like it do hashtag it makes sense, Troy. If it made sense to you. I hope it did. I don't know. I'm sorry. Alright, I'm just sorry. Alright. The places to go when your mods are being updated is to always just wait for the community to tell you. My Discord is the is like the number one place where you should go to know if mods have been broken and because there's so many helpful boos, including you, and I see you who are like in the Discord, I see you helping out and they're gonna tell you what mods are broken, what mods are updated. Always wait for your mods to be updated before you put them back in if they're broken. Because even if you update your game, the mods are going to be broken if the game has changed its code for that mod. A lot of people always ask this question, if I take out my mods for an update and I put it back in, will my mods be fine? The answer is yes and no, because it depends on what EA changed. If you put it back in and it's telling you last exemption error is not working, that means it's broken and you have to wait for the creator themselves to go ahead and update the, the mod, okay? And of course, I will be posting videos or updates on my Twitter account, my Instagram. Make sure you go follow your girl on Twitter. We're so close to 8,000 followers. If you haven't done that already, please go do that. I'll leave the link in the description box below where all my social media has always been. But like when things are coming out fast, my Twitter, my social media, and my Discord be the first places to go. And then if needed, I will do a video. If it's like a whole sheet of mods that have been downloaded, I will give those updates to you on my YouTube channel. Just an FYI, you may want to go ahead and subscribe as well. Because in case mods do break a lot, you're going to want to know which mods are updated. And the final thing, you guys can always just go to the creator's webpage. Um, all creators should be doing this where they put like a time step of when was last updated on their website. So if it says it's not updated yet, please go ahead and just wait. But that's another thing you do. All your major mods that you know and love, like Wicked Whims, Base Mental, anything Sacrificial, anything Kawaii Stacy, anything Little Miss Sam. If you have food overrides, if you have custom food, if you have like a witch's mod by Neil, like. If you know where you download those pages, where you download from, like the more you mod your game The Sims 4, the more you will like know these pages by heart. And that way you'll be able to go back to them and like see if they've been updated. And also follow them on their social media because they will also post updates quickly as well. I believe they also do it on their Patreon as well. Some creators like Webesu who created the No Collins mod and UI Cheese mod has placed their updates on their Patreon for free. So just a little quick FYI, if you guys did not know that, um, the updated versions are on his Patreon. Um, and I and I did link that in my last mod update videos when the last patch happened. So just a quick FYI guys, go ahead and do that. Uh, I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else. So guys, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this was just a quick update. For some of you already know this information because I've done it and I've said it multiple times. However, the last time, 
I really addressed this in a video for itself was like cats and dogs when everything was broken so I thought why not just go ahead and do it especially because there is a schedule update soon so I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe to your girl's channel I will see you guys next time bye boo